Welcome to Top 7, the channel where we explore the most intriguing, shocking, and sometimes downright baffling events in history. In today's video, we'll be diving into the Top 7 Worst Decisions in History. These are the choices that led to disastrous consequences, changing the course of history and leaving a lasting impact on the world. Don't forget subscribe and click bell icon. So, let's start of your journey. Number 7. Napoleon's Invasion of Russia The French can't seem to catch a break on this list. The Little Corporal's Grand Armée of 680,000 soldiers strolled into Russia hoping for a quick and easy defeat, only to find the Russian forces constantly retreating. Using what is known as a scorched earth tactic, the Russians burned down villages so that the pursuing French army would have no supplies to feed their vast numbers. Eventually, winter came, and the French forces were subject to starvation, hypothermia, and ultimately, defeat. It was a harsh lesson, but one that every military leader has since taken to heart, never underestimate environmental factors when fighting on enemy soil. Number 6. The Soviet Invasion of Afghanistan Now it's time for the Russians, or in this case, the Soviets, to take a beating, as the 1979 invasion of this Middle Eastern country was decidedly not a win for them. Wanting to protect communist interests in the country, the Soviets sent over 100,000 soldiers after the assassination of the president of the Afghanistan Communist Party. However, due to the alien nature of the communist way of life, an Afghan and Muslim resistance rose up with monetary aid from a certain Western, capitalist archenemy of the Soviets. The ensuing conflict resulted in the death of almost 15,000 Soviet soldiers, a Soviet withdrawal, and a continued civil war in the country. Number 5. The Toppling of Mohammad Mossadegh in Iran Once again, we travel to the Middle East, but this time it's some devotees of capitalism that made the mistake. The mission was known as Ajax in the US and Operation Boot in the UK, but the principles were the same, protect Western oil interests in Iran. How? By overthrowing the democratically elected prime minister and installing a monarch more sympathetic to the US and the UK's demands. That's exactly what they did, the CIA even hired local mobsters to incite riots. What followed was the death and subjugation of many of the Iranian people, and a period of unrest that eventually led to the Iranian Revolution of 1979. Number 4. Hitler Invading Russia There is a quote that reads, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it, and that's exactly what the Nazis did in 1941. Despite studying Napoleon's first invasion of Russia as a reference, the Nazis' attempted invasion of the Soviet Union resulted in a catastrophic loss of life, and, in the eyes of many, was the downfall of the Third Reich. Just like Napoleon, they planned on achieving a swift victory that never came. Operation Barbarossa, as it would come to be known, lasted over five months and resulted in over five million deaths. Number 3. George W. Bush Invading Iraq in 2003 Whether you believe it was motivated by weapons of mass destruction, the 9-11 attacks, or a need for oil, we can all agree that this 2003 attack on the Middle East was divisive for the American people, and devastating for the Iraqis. Dot had kicked off a costly eight-plus-year Iraq war, which, rather than fighting terrorism, arguably fostered it, most notably giving rise to ISIS. 
On the home front, it turned America into a nation divided, with one half of the population supporting the war, and the other half vehemently against it. In other words, some were a little bit country and some were a little bit rock and roll. Shout out to South Park fans. Number 2. Angering Genghis Khan Many angered the great Khan during his reign over the Mongol Empire, but none so spectacularly as Allah Adin Muhammad II, Shah of the Muslim Crimean Empire. The result of infuriating the Khan meant the destruction of Allah Adin's empire, but keep in mind that didn't have to be the case. Genghis wanted peace with the Shah, saying, I am master of the lands of the rising sun while you rule those of the setting sun. Let us conclude a firm treaty of friendship and peace. The Shah refused, killing some Mongolian envoys. The result was, as previously stated, less than favorable for the Shah. It just goes to show, never mess with a Mongol. Number 1. The victorious allies impose harsh terms on Germany after World War I. The Treaty of Versailles. The moment that would define the next half of the 20th century. The moment that would lead to the rise of fascism, the Nazis, and eventually the Holocaust. After a long and brutal World War I, the victorious allies were tasked with punishing the losers, and punish them they did. The most important factor of the treaty was that Germany had to take total and complete blame for the war, which meant they had to disarm and pay reparations to all the affected countries. This virtually bankrupted the European country and set the stage for a very sinister time in human history. 